how y'all doing hope you guys are good okay it's on monday morning and it looks like this week is going to be a good week yeah so um i've just gotten ready for work and i need to be going like right now but before i go i decided to show you guys my outfit my outfit of the day okay so that's my outfit of the day i'm wearing this stripped top and uh this palazzo pant um i both thrifted them from town and i guess this top was going for 200 and this palazzo i can't remember because i got it like sana. and then these flat shoes these black flat shoes i got them from town i also thrifted them and they were going for 250 like they were going for 300 but i bargained to 250 because why not you know i'm a kenyan so and also i'm wearing this blazer was going for 200 bob in town also yeah so that's my full outfit of the day yeah i look good and also i'm so grateful because i've added weight and also my bag i'm carrying this philip plane is it called philip plane yeah this philip plane bag yeah so guess that's my outfit of the day came to show you um the progress of the day my progress of the day and uh i'm wishing you guys a good day i'll see you guys maybe later on at lunch time or in the course of the day if i have something interesting to show you but in the moment see you later Hey loves, welcome back to this vlog. Um, uh, I have like, I just want to watch you guys. I don't know where to start. Yes, I, I just don't know how to start it, but your guys. Even if they say that when life gives you lemon, make lemonade from it, but sometimes, just sometimes, it's so hard, it's so hard to like, let me just give you the whole story, like the way it's supposed to be, like the way it is, not the way it's supposed to be. So this is it, today is on a Monday, and uh, in the morning you saw like, if uh, you watched the video to to this moment like you understand in the morning i was like very hyped up i don't know what happened in the course of the day things just were going out the way i didn't expect them to go like and then i won't like say everything in detail because like they are personal issues so yeah and then i'm like you know even if god is trying to harden me but this this one is too much like god it's enough like i have been like i am so like uh, you have you have hardened me enough like i'm hard right now like i know how in life i know how life is it is i know how like i'm supposed to live with others i know how to interact with others but at this rate god you're overdoing i'm sorry to say this but you're overdoing like you've taught me enough lessons like i'm just alone i just have myself like every time i'm down i need to pick myself up every time i'm down i need to motivate myself i need to like you know like i don't know if you guys are understanding i need to like motivate myself i need to encourage myself like yes i have friends but still i need to like push myself like you know i don't know if you guys are understanding but i I just don't get it i just don't know why i'm going through all this like god i'm just a baby i'm just like i'm still too young to go through all this like even if you want to harden me for the best future but this is too much 
Like, God, please have mercy on me. Like, I've gone through it all. It's enough. Like, it's high time you just have mercy on me and, like, be good to me and, like, treat me good. I know you love me so much. That's why you're trying to harden me. But, guys, living alone is not fun. It's not really fun. I want to encourage everyone to live alone because, yo, it's not fun. It's not good. Like, sometimes, yes, it has its own advantage and its own disadvantage, but, yo, anyways, I, I just want to thank you guys for being here. I don't know. I don't know if I've said something, but if you're planning to go and live alone just be like make sure that you're someone who like who is hard like ukona rongumu uskwe mtu soft heart and you start living alone because when life will start hitting you badly hmm? you you will run my friend you will run right now mimi i'm a baby girl I'm a baby girl. I deserve soft life. I deserve to be treated with soft, like softly. But now God, since He's my dad, like He's trying to harden me. He's trying to like, I of which I'm taking it positively, and I really appreciate Him for that. But I feel like it's enough. God, please have mercy on me. Like, please, 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 please. It's high time. Like, you know. Do you know how encouraging or motivating yourself or oh, like picking yourself up the way it's so hard? I don't know if you've ever gone through that, but you know, like picking yourself up or motivating yourself, that thing is not easy. More so if you, you are going through it, like you're going through it and to make the matter worse i'm the firstborn like i don't have a big sister where i will go and start telling her my stories my issues and blah 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 i am the big sister and all my other siblings are looking up to me so i need to like be there for myself and i need to be there for my siblings i don't know if you guys get it like i need to be like <sighs> guys <sighs> I don't know. I just don't know. I am all. I'm usually strong, and I know I'm a very strong girl. But this time round, this one has knocked me down. But let me tell you the truth. I am picking myself up. I am going to pick myself up, and once I'm up, you guys won't love it. I am coming back again, but like just in this period, let me just allow me to like cry myself out, just allow me to like just express myself because this time this pain it just needs like I just have to find a way of removing it because I can't let it stay in me. Um, yeah, I don't have space for that. So, to cut the long story short, I guess I'm going to tell you guys bye for now because I need to like find something to eat. I'm super, super, super hungry and I need to find something to eat. And also to add on that next next month, like starting next month, next month is my birthday month. So you guys should start preparing your birthday gift as early as now. I mean, I don't have those high expectations. I'm just like blabbering around. But if you love me, you need to have a birthday gift for me so that I may feel good at least loud. Otherwise, I love God so much. I know He's there. He's there for me. He's always there to provide for me. He's always there to live. I just love God. You know, sometimes we argue, but sometimes, like, I know He loves me so much and I love Him a lot. So. Hey, love. I will come back to my channel. Thank you so much. Two time, baby girl, you know me. Still with the girls that I go beside. All the niggas proud. We have Kimanzi. For those of you who are not familiar with Kimanzi's work, Kimanzi is a creative genius, I'd like to call him. 
It is very dirty. Let me clean it. I'm even ashamed of it, but I'm not ashamed because I'm going to clean and it's going to look good. So, yeah, it's 